what up y'all got a new video shoe video for y'all <clears throat> uh, i've been wanting to get this shoe i missed out on it a couple of times and uh it's not nothing crazy but at the same time like this is one of the little uh secret things that's been going up in value uh i'm gonna do a video on this one and a couple others i'm trying to wait on this other one to show up if it don't hurry up then i'm going to take one of the ones i got in this shoe right here and just make a video about that but uh and i got another shoe i could throw in there that could kind of do a uh investment video for these two styles type video but uh if you're not subscribed to the channel please drop a sub like comment uh hit that notification bell all that good stuff and let's get started with the video all right this one I believe was from uh, Shoe Palace. Yeah, with the little timers. I actually got through on two pairs of these. I got another pair coming. Um, and then uh, I actually got another pair coming. I got ordered three pairs of these shoes. Because um, I think they're going to be a good investment. And you'll see why once you see them. But uh, I remind you, this is something that's going to go up. I've been paying attention to several different colorways in these. And a lot of them's going up in value. You just got to sit on them and wait for the, you know, the excess pairs to sell out. It, you know, from resellers, whatever the case may be. Um, I did see a couple of sites restock. So if you get a chance to get a pair, I suggest get them. Um, I got my packing slip. About that, let's get on to the shoe. That's right. I got a Jordan 1 mid box. Let's see here. Air Jordan 1 mid SE. Color white, hyper royal, and black. Got the lovely Jordan 23 paper. And wow. Look at that. I mean, that is a dope Jordan 1 mid. Uh, for all the people that like the Royal Toes, uh, the Unions, it's just got, gives you that, like, Union or Royal, Jordan Royal Toe vibe. Um, even though it's got the gray here, just that colorway is a really dope colorway. Um, you got leather, nylon, suede. And I like on this one how they use the suede for the back heel where the red white and blues can't really see right there that's leather instead of suede so the only spot on these is this top part up here on the red white and blues where this shoe has more suede on it which I, I definitely like you got this well let's just start all the way over about this shoe uh we're gonna start the toe box we got the nylon uh ring around the toe box you got a white leather toe and like this leather i mean it's pretty smooth it's kind of stiff so like it actually feels a little bit softer than the red white and blue <clears throat> i don't know if they use a different it definitely feels and looks a little bit different not much but just a little bit different than the, on the red white and blue mids that i got uh we got, I don't think this came with extra shoelaces. Let me go check. No, no extra shoelaces, but you can bet like some blue shoelaces or even some grays would set this pair off. But, uh, you got nylon that runs all the way up around the, uh, lace holes. Then you got just the old, like, thin, uh, vinyl tongue. Um. <clears throat> the white all the white is leather everywhere is on toe box on the side here and then the check is nylon uh, it actually looks a little different in a way maybe it's because it ain't got padding in behind it but uh the gray on it and the blue here is suede now this suede right here don't feel as soft and buttery as this gray suede does. This is kind of a rougher uh, suede, which you could probably just brush it some and it'd soften it up. But as far as like being just super soft, 
this gray is, you know, you can kind of focus. You kind of see it raise up and lower down on camera, but blue uh, Jordan wings on the side. You got that royal toe bottom, the blue bottom. Um, just really dope, clean looking shoe. Like the inside of it's got the black for the inside of the sole. Here's the tongue for y'all. And you got the red or red blue jump man. And I like how they got the stitching just on like on the red, white, blues. Gives it a little extra contrast to the shoe. Um, Comment below. Let me know what y'all think about these. Would y'all cop or drop these? Me personally, like I said, I cop three pairs. And I'm fixing to get into all that uh, right here in a second. Um, just giving y'all final views of this shoe. Or going over once more with this shoe circling around. Got a little piece of lint or something right there. I'll get that off. But, okay, I've been paying attention to lows and mids here lately. And, like, just like a week and a half ago, I think it was a week and a half ago, these bad boys was going for over $220 for a size 11 on GOAT. Now, of course, the prices have came down, like, about $150, but... That's just because there's pairs available now, and they've restocked at a few places. As soon as everybody starts getting their pairs like me, and they start selling them out or wearing them, because most people like to wear mids, then these little bad boys are fixing to go back up in price. Like, right off the get-go, you could buy these, and as soon as the websites don't have them nowhere, it's easily, you know, make you 25, 50 bucks. But, if you hang on to them for a little bit, you could easily make a hundred dollars a pair and you know i go into talking about this just because mids are a good investment if you get the right color weights because if you can make a hundred dollars off a, a mid compared to a hundred dollars off a high you're coming out better making a hundred dollars off a mid because you ain't got near the the overhead for a mid a mids you know like 125 for the se's uh, 115 for the regular ones so therefore if you can sell a shoe for you know uh, 225 you know in, instead of getting a uh, a Roy one high and selling it for 270 and you paid <clears throat> 170 you come out better selling this shoe because like I said that's that much money that you could put towards another so let's say for what two highs would sell for you could get like three mids and you know, probably going to move these mids a little faster because they're a little bit more affordable. And a lot of people, and I'm telling y'all, I've, I've asked way too many people about this. People that wants to wear their shoes, for the most part, wants to buy mids or lows. The lows and mids are taking off right now. Uh, like I said, the prices keep going up on them on certain colorways. Uh, I did hit on... One of the lows that I bought in the past, another pair, went ahead and bought them, even though the prices ain't jumped up a whole lot right now, because I have seen some sales for, like, even lows going for, like, $175, $200 on shoes that was just released this past year, or so far this year. So, you know, it just depends on where you're at, who's wanting the shoe, you know, determines some of these prices on stuff like these mids and the lows. And like I said, I'm going to do a video with some mids and possibly uh, a couple, one or two lows. Maybe just one low just to kind of have a low in there as part of the video. But a couple of shoes that ain't, you know, your normal Jordan 1 highs or your Jordan 1 through 14 or whatever shoe that would be good investments and you can make money off of and they're good shoes. Um, and mids is, is a well-kept secret. Like a lot of people... You know, online they talk crap about these mids, but at the same time, they're wearing the mids, they're buying them and reselling the mids. So that told me, what's going on with these mids? Like, they got to be making money off these things. And the more I've researched, the more I found out that on these mids, 
you know, you're there's less overhead, and as, if you're profiting the same amount as this as somebody off a high, then or a Jordan one high, then you're coming out better than they are, you know, because you ain't got as much overhead in it as they do. So therefore, even though you're making the same amount of profit, you know, you're able to invest that much more into something else. So this comes out a lot better. Um, I definitely think they killed it with this colorway. I did see another one that had like some red up here and it really looked like the unions. It didn't have the blue right here. I think it had gray down here. Uh, it was a dope shoe. Um, let's see here. I got one more coming. That's the white heels Chicago. And of course I got two of the, uh, the Chicago toe mids. Um, and those right there is going to be three good colors to get. If you can get the red one that's like this. Or <clears throat> the uh, the white heel Chicago. The uh, Chicago toe. The Chicago toe's already jumped up to close to $200 already. So, and that's just because they've restocked a couple times. And it's brought them down. I've done seen them over $200 as well. If you get done watching this video. I want you to go to StockX. Go any one of your favorite apps and look up Jordan 1 Mids and tell me how many pairs. Like actually click on the shoe and look at the look at your personal size and most of them, you know, a lot of the, the really good colorways are selling for, you know, 200 plus. Like I've seen them over 300, around $400 for a mid. So, uh... Don't be sleeping on these mids, guys. Don't don't sleep on the mids, and don't sleep on the lows either. They had a, a white and bl bl this color blue low that just uh, keeps popping up for uh, restocks, and people's going nuts over that one. So if y'all hear some banging, my little dog's trying to get in the room, and he's done got kicked out for being obnoxious. So he's gonna have to chill. But anyways, <clears throat> back to these shoes. Um, Tomorrow, there's going to be the Jordan 6 uh, Qua 54 or whatever you want to call that shoe. Um, I probably will try to go for one pair. I'm really trying to put my main focus on the Bel Air 5s. I'm going to try to get as many pairs of those as I can as possible. Um, so that might be the first shoe in a while that I'm actually going to offer people depending on how many pairs I get, but I might actually offer people on here uh, or any of my followers, my subscribers, anyone that knows me through, you know, like my YouTube channel or my Instagram to be able to cop a pair. Um, <clears throat> I am putting some of those up. Like I've been telling y'all, I've been putting up pretty much every pair that I buy and sitting on them. It's just sitting on them and investing. <clears throat> Instead of putting, keep putting money up in the bank, I'm going to keep buying uh, certain Jordans and put them up and I've already watched tons of prices go up. One cool thing about I'm not a StockX fan <clears throat> I'll say that but <clears throat> create a count on there and then there's a spot where it's uh, you click my pro or portfolio and then you can add shoes that you own into that portfolio and it'll tell you like how much the street value is on them, uh, how much profit you made off of that shoe so far for what, uh, you know, street value is. Like it, it's really cool little uh, <clears throat> thing that they got on there to where you can keep up with your shoes and stuff like that. I've got 29 listed on there so far. I ain't got them all quite listed yet. And, uh, yeah, like it's it's crazy. You wouldn't think that shoes add up that fast, but they do. Um, we're not going to get into the full uh, street value of that little collection so far, but um, I'll tell you, it's up there. I could buy some really, a bunch of nice stuff, but I got a bunch of these nice shoes saved up. And like I said, come Christmas time, a lot of these are going to get sold around Christmas time, including this shoe. Uh, like I said, this one's going to go on the feet. And then I've got two more pairs coming that I'll be putting up and saving. And around Christmas time, I'll be dropping those. Um, that Chicago White Hill, that one might have to stay. 
Um, but I will have a Chicago toad that I'll be releasing around Christmas time. Some Supreme t-shirts, like all kinds of stuff. So if you, you know, you want your family to get you something, tell them to hit me up. And I got a bunch of stuff that I got put up just for Christmas time. And I'm not going to be, you know, necessarily charging the complete maximum amount that I could charge either. So, uh, you know, hit me up, come around that time, and uh, definitely hook you up. But, uh, like I said, we got the Jordan 6 Quad 54s dropping tomorrow. I'm probably going to go out there a pair, like I said, but I'm kind of up and down on that shoe. I'd like to see it in hand before I bought it, but I might just buy it, and if I don't want to keep it, just quick flip it real quick. Um, I have seen the lows in some up-and-close videos, and those actually surprised me and kind of made me wish I would have bought a pair. Um, so the highs, there's not a lot of difference in them, but they're Jordan 6. So I might just cop them, just because we ain't really had many Jordan 6s this year. So, uh, yeah, that's probably, probably a cop one pair, but probably won't have any to resell. But, uh, I did find out, which it makes me want to think about getting, like, a laptop or anything. If any of y'all know down in the comments below, let me know. <clears throat> I know that I can go live from a computer, but where I record everything through my phone, I have to wait till I get a thousand subs to do that. But, does anybody know, like, how good the live feeds come out on, like, just a, a basic laptop? Or do you got to have like some kind of fancy laptop to get some decent quality? Is it at least as good as what we got right here or close to it? If we can get close to what we got right now, then I'll start going live on, you know, I'll get a, a laptop to be able to start going live for y'all and allow people to join in and, and, you know, ask questions in the comments and all that good stuff. But, uh. Yeah, just let me know in the comments what y'all think. If y'all, anybody's got any you know, ideas about any of that stuff about the laptops too. And uh let me know uh what y'all want to see for our next giveaway we're gonna do. Like I said, the vape one's coming up, it's about here, and as soon as that's over with, we're gonna do Supreme or you know it's probably gonna be a Supreme giveaway, so just uh you know comment below, let me know what y'all wanna see. That's going to about wrap this video up. Done showing that shoe off. Hope y'all like it. I like it. Um, I had a lot of people say that they wanted a pair. But, uh, you know, I definitely had to. I'll, I'll be doing some unboxings on the pairs as they come in so you can kind of see all that. But, um, you know, if you want a pair of those, uh, I suggest try Shoe Palace right now. I think they've actually restocked some more you know you, you gotta fight that little timer but just stick at it and do it don't use wi-fi if you got a chance to if you're doing it on your phone don't use wi-fi if you're using the computer then use wi-fi or you know you, of course use the internet but uh that's gonna wrap this video up um look like i said let, let me know in the comments sorry y'all i'm tired let me know in the comments what y'all want to see for the next giveaway after the vape giveaway and uh if you ain't subscribed to the channel, please drop a sub, like, comment, all that good stuff. Let's get these subscribers up. Y'all have a good one. Much love. And peace out.